Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell our hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Hear the love of Christ shall All who believed division, were together and had all things in common. Day by day as they spent much time together, they broke bread with glad and generous hearts. And day by day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Hello, my name is Mary Catherine. I started coming to Mar St. Mark's a year ago, and um, I have never attended a church where people introduce themselves to you the first time you're here. And all these people would come up and say, oh, I don't think I've met you before. My name is, and so forth and so on. And that was really great at you know the beginning of church, but they remembered my name afterwards. And so that was amazing, right? But what blew me away is I was gone for two weeks and someone came up to me whose name I did not remember and said, oh, we missed you, where were you? And that took me to a whole nother level. Yes. Um, I think it's the depth of the prayer and the presence of the people. I feel like I've missed something really big, like not floss my teeth for a week when I don't come. I'm Sarah Johnson. Uh, I started attending St. Mark's in August of 2022, uh, soon after I moved to Albuquerque. And my first time visiting, I was just struck by the kindness and warmth of the welcome I received. Uh, I was confirmed in October of 2022. And since then have just enjoyed having opportunities to serve in the parish, um, opportunities to build and deepen relationships with other parishioners um, and just to grow to love and know Christ more alongside uh, people in this wonderful community. Um, St. Mark's on Sunday mornings is the highlight of my week, uh, coming with my fellow parishioners to receive the Eucharist, to draw near to Christ um, every week. Um, I just can't believe that I found such a wonderful church uh, to call home. Hey, St. Mark's. Uh, this is George McJimsey. This year I joined the Altar Guild here. The friends, the new friends that I have made in the Altar Guild have been um, really one of the highlights of my year. Um, I would say we spend a lot of time working hard, but we also spend a lot of time laughing. And, um, you know, it's interesting because I grew up in the Episcopal Church. When I was very young, I was an usher, and then I graduated and became an acolyte. And I remember I had to light the candles on the altar. Um, and initially that made me very nervous because the candles were very tall. And I kept thinking to myself, what if it doesn't light? I'm gonna be up here um, and I'm gonna be embarrassed because this candle won't light in front of all these people. And it always lit. And now I know why, because members of the altar guild made sure that the wicks were out just enough and that the candles were full. Um, and um, so I get to do that now, which is pretty great and it's pretty fun. And I understand something now um, about the church that I didn't understand before. By the power of the Spirit, each of our gifts is widening the welcome to St. Mark's and to the Kingdom of God for all people. You are an essential part of this community. We thank God for your open and generous hearts and for the part you play in widening the welcome.